You know, this was a, uh, a good one, folks. Good question that I don't have the answer to, scientifically speaking. Maybe some of you people smarter than me out there can, uh, can come up with this. Okay. But let's get into it. I don't know if it matters. That's, that's, where, that's where I'm kind of going. But uh, let's see here. So, hey, Courtney, hope all is well your way. Looking into grapples, want to get your opinion and see if what I'm looking at is my best option for my John Deere 3046R. I'm really liking the precision. Big mouth mini 327. Really cool grapple. My concern is the large opening, large jaws. All right. It's like uh, 48 or 54 inch opening. So it has long jaws, opens really wide up. My concern is a large opening may not give the clamping force of the standard size grapples. So grapples that have shorter jaws on them. Have you noticed this? So basically, and I actually, I brought a, I brought a screwdriver. All right. So I think how you can, you can envision this is if you're, you're clamping down, you know, way out here on the very end of your fingers, do you have enough clamping force out there because the jaws of this grapple are long. So way out here versus, you know, if you grab something way in here, and of course you're not going to have as much strength grabbing something, you know, close to the palm of your hand or the base of the grapple as you are way out at, near the ends. And so, you know, maybe a standard grapple has, um, 36 or 42 inch jaws on it versus these big mouth grapples from precision have a lot longer jaws on them. And so the thought there is that you can grab a lot more debris. Okay. Because that's one of the common things that you're, that you're grabbing. You know, if it's, if it's only logs, well, this isn't really going to matter so much, but if you're looking to do kind of multi-purpose stuff, you can still grab logs with a longer armed grapple, but you can also grab more debris, you know, brush and everything else in there too. And so you can get more, usefulness out of it. Um, a lot of those grapples will weigh more, but uh, Precision makes some very high strength. They've got a lot of nice engineering in their grapples uh, to keep the weight down, high strength steel, all that kind of stuff too. So big question there is, is right, is, is, is there still enough gripping strength out there at the end of those fingers, at the end of those grapple uh, tips near that way to make it practical and useful? And um, I've never heard anybody say that it's not. I never heard anybody say to the otherwise, hey, it doesn't have enough grip strength out there. And my thought being is if you want to pick up something really heavy near the end of the grapple tips or whatever, it's going to be lighter. You know, me, practically speaking, if I'm going to grab a, a log, then I'm going to try to grab that as close to the base of the grapple as possible because I want a nice firm grip on there. I want... Um, the load to be as close to my tractor as possible for stability and max lift capacity if I'm going to be somewhere anywhere near the limits of what my loader can lift. Um, and so I'm not going to use the end of the, 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 the grapple teeth there. You know, I may, I may try to grab it and like separate it from the pile. So it's by itself doing that, but for actually grabbing onto it, transporting it, moving around, maybe lifting up and stacking it. Well, I'm going to try to get it right towards the base of that grapple or as close as I can. So I don't think max strength, clamping strength at the, the tips or at the ends really matters a whole lot because that's not generally where you would put uh, the heaviest load anyway if you're going to do it properly, at least in my, in my opinion. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. Not only is it going to help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all-natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not going to corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not going to freeze, and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. So, other question was because the price between the 60 inch and the 72 inch isn't all that different. Um, I think it's just a, a few hundred bucks. So he's thinking, man, I just want to get the 72 inch. Is that the right one for the 3046R instead of the 60 inch? And, you know, and I, I, re I replied and let him know. I was like, the, the price point, yeah, it's pretty tempting to go with the 72. Um, but I think, you know, he's going to be going through woods and everything else. And his tractor is about 60 inches wide. And if you're trying to navigate in tighter spaces, man, get that grapple matching up with, with the width of your tractor. You know, I mean, it's going to be way more convenient. Otherwise, a grapple with like pointy ends on it, man, that's an easy thing to whack into a tree when you're, you know, not seeing exactly every, everything that's going on. You know, that's a hard point there to whack and potentially tweak or damage something or, 
or bend a, a point um, or just be an inconvenience and cause damage to the trees and the woods as well. So I would stick with a 60 inch there. You're going to save some weight. That's always a good thing, you know, saving weight. We've talked about that before. You don't want to get too big of a gravel or too big of a bucket or too big of a pusher or too big of a tiller or whatever it is. And you get too big, it makes it less fun to use. It makes it um, unenjoyable instead of enjoyable, which tractors are amazing. So they should be a fun experience as long as you're setting it up the right way. So great questions to ask up front before making that decision and things that I hadn't necessarily, or something I hadn't necessarily thought about with that, that clamping force deal there. So if you're shopping for grapples, that is a good perspective to think about. And again, that's just my take on it. Uh, I'm sure you guys have some other perspectives to share. So that'd be really good to know about as well. And if you, I don't know if there is anything worth scientifically proving or testing or measuring or not. I mean, it'd be, I guess, good data to have, but I don't know how practical it really is. I've never, this isn't, I don't know if this being a widespread issue, so I don't really even know if it's worth looking into any further or not, but I think it's good information to consider and a great question to ask before making a purchase. This is the exact kind of question that I love to help with and share some insight. And whether you're looking for a grapple or um, a snow pusher or a set of pallet forks or wherever the tool is, if it's for the three point hitch, I wanna make sure that you're set up for success. So send us an email. I need your tractor, make, and your model number. If I need more details of that, depending on the application, I'll email you back and ask for it. I love to communicate by email because I talk to so many folks. Phone calls run together and it all blends together. So I can send you links when it's appropriate. Um, I can get back to a lot more folks that way too. And if you're in the market for a tractor or tractor attachment, take a look at our website, goodworkstractors.com. We have all sorts of tractor tools on there. Well, and tractors as well. We can put together a whole package for you and we ship nationwide. That's all we do. We ship stuff every day of the week. We'd love to help you out. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.